So welcome back everyone. Happy Thursday. And I want to say first off before I get started with this video that I just appreciate each and every one of you so, so very much. Uh, you all have made my YouTube journey so worthwhile. Uh, so many of you have been with me since I started in 2016 and so many of you are new to my channel and I just want to give a huge thank you to all of you because sharing your creativity on YouTube as a YouTube creator is one of those things that we do because we enjoy it but we also do it because we love to share those ideas with all of you and then receive your feedback and that interaction with all of you. I can only speak for myself, but is what makes this so rewarding. So um, as you know, I always try to respond to every comment. Um, so, you know, when you leave a comment on my channel, um, it, I try not to let that go overlooked. So definitely interact with me in the comments. I love to see your feedback. I love to see if you've taken something I've shared and how you utilize that in your home. All of those things are what make this so very, very special to me. So I just wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out to all of you who are a part of my family here and to everyone who's new, welcome. Uh, I appreciate all of you so, so very much. The topic of this video though is what are my favorite fall decor pieces that I have used thus far? So I've done some decorating for fall and I've certainly seen in the comments and the feedback I've received both here on YouTube and on social media, what are your favorites? And so I thought I would share with you what some of my favorite pieces are. Now, of course, I love everything that I've done. I love everything that I have purchased, um, everything that I've put together. I love it all. So there's nothing that I don't feel is worthy of being in this video, but I'm not going to share everything that I've done, um, but I wanted to share with you what are some of the pieces that when I walk throughout my home, I look at and they just say autumn to me and I just get that warm feeling. They're those pieces that I just fall in love with every time I see them. And most of them are a part of a vignette that I just love the overall look, but I feel like adding in that extra piece is what made it super special to me and what I think was the finishing look for that style. So I'm going to share with you what are some of my favorites and then I'm going to uh, include my playlist for all of my fall uh, videos so far in my video description, which I've done in the last few videos. So if you haven't checked them out, go check them out and then share with me in the comments what your favorite pieces are because I love to hear what you guys think of each of the pieces and if there's something that um, you are gonna run out and purchase because you just love it that much. So to start with, it's my earliest piece that I shared and I shared a night clip of it because I really wanted you to get a visual of what this looked like in the evening and it sits here on our kitchen island and it is this item from the Dollar Tree. Here is a close-up look. I love this. You guys, when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, I actually passed it by. They had clear, they had this amber color, they had a bluish turquoise color, um, and I walked by it uh, several times and then I just couldn't help myself. I had to pick it up. I think this is just absolutely beautiful. I think this certainly has a much more upscale, elegant feel and look to it than a dollar. And this of course can be used all year round. It's not just seasonal, but I mean, does that not just say harvest? Is that, you know, one of those pieces that you would just not look at and say, 
autumn. It just has autumn written all over it. So I put this on my kitchen island with the um, centerpiece I put together and I put it on my burlap runner and I shared that video. Uh, I will include a link to that as well. Beautiful. So if you guys haven't found these at your Dollar Tree, keep looking. This diamond pattern, I think is what really just adds to the elegance and upscale look to this piece but certainly well worth a dollar. And like I said, I think it has more of a appearance of being something more upscale. And just these few pieces, when I walk through my kitchen and I look at them, just say harvest. And it just brings this warm feeling. And I absolutely, absolutely love this piece. So check it out, Dollar Tree absolutely beautiful. The next thing that's been widely popular ever since I shared it, and so many of you have commented on this, so I think this is definitely a crowd pleaser, uh, you know, by the court of public opinion. I think most people really love these, but these are also favorites. I absolutely love the little squirrels. This one is sitting up here, facing upwards, sitting on his little bottom and you know where I have them placed on my console table uh, they look like they're staring up at the tree and like they're just waiting on one of those large acorns to fall this one is sitting flat on all fours and he too is just staring up at the tree where I have him sitting just waiting on one of the large acorns to fall even though they have their own little acorns sitting right below them they're just tantalizing you know over the acorns that are above. So these are definitely some of my favorites. Every time I look at those, they just bring me joy. Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off and they had little tags around their neck. So I don't remember how much they were, but um, here's a close up look. So super, super cute. And again, I mean, what just says harvest more than some adorable little squirrels. So like I said, these bring me joy every time I see them. I will include a link again to my playlist. So if you didn't see how I use these, be sure and go check that out. Um, absolutely adorable. They're just perfect for harvest. So this next piece, again, I've used in several vignettes, widely popular. It's something that most everyone has commented on. Um, I have even had some people who have said, you know, that actually is not something that I would normally find to be my style, but I love it. And that is the black raven or crow. Here's a close up look. Just in case you guys didn't get a good, good look at them when they're in the video, they do have this distressed look to them. Um, you know, the paint is distressed and they're facing, you know, with their heads uh, tilted on a pedestal. So you don't have to worry about trying to find a good way to raise these up because they're automatically raised on the pedestal they come on. I love these. That's why I've used them in multiple vignettes because there's just something about them that I think look, says autumn, um, it says harvest, and I think this will easily carry over through October when I put out a few little tasteful pieces of Halloween. Um, I don't decorate for Halloween typically and I don't do any decor outside for Halloween, but I think there's a way that you can add Halloween in and it be very tasteful. And um, I'm going to try to incorporate that in the month of October. Uh, and I think these are gonna play a great role in creating those vignettes. The other thing I love, and I've had a lot of people ask me about these, um, these are really everyday decor pieces, but I used them in my family room and I used them on the mantle. And it's these black lanterns. And I got these at Walmart. They were $6.87 or $6.78, something like that. I shared with you guys. I absolutely love these. They only hold a candle that is three inches in diameter. Um, and I have a five inch candle in there and I still have a little bit of room. But as I shared before, the reason that I absolutely love these is I think anytime that you incorporate black into your decor, it just gives it that upscale finished look. 
Black is a neutral color, so it's gonna go with everything, regardless of whether you're doing more of those softer tones, whether you're doing more of the autumnal colors, black is going to work beautifully. Black also is a great uh, accent color for Christmas. So I love these because they don't have the glass. You don't have to worry about keeping that clean and you get the flicker of whatever type of candle you put in there from above and below. Very inexpensive, but they have a really high end look to them. So I'm loving these. I, I have uh, four of them and I absolutely love them. Um, and again, these are at Walmart. Uh, they were, they also had a tag attached to the top, but I know for sure they were $6 and some change. So very inexpensive, but again, everyday decor uh, use there. And I think it's something you can incorporate for literally any season and any holiday. Last, but certainly not least, I put together the tray vignette on my coffee table and I incorporated these pumpkins. Now, this is the uh, small version of that pumpkin, but you know that I used the large version as well. And then I used, uh, there are three of these. And this one is the orange. And here's just a really good up close look of that material that it's made out of, braided material. I love these. And the people who have come over ever since I put that vignette together on the coffee table, just gasp over it. They're like, that is absolutely stunning. Honestly, if I could find that exact same basket again, which it was the only one they had when I was at Tuesday morning, I would buy another one and I would actually keep that piece together and I would put it in a bag and I would just leave it for next year because I don't know that I can recreate that look next year. And it's absolutely gorgeous. These pumpkins are that beautiful, beautiful, sweet spot between rustic and elegant. Now, this isn't a glam pumpkin, of course, but it has that really upscale look, but it still has all those beautiful um, elements that we love so much about autumn. So I wanted to share this because every time I pass by that vignette, it just brings me warmth and, and a smile. I absolutely love it. And another thing I want to mention, because you guys, nothing gets past you. I have had multiple people comment and, and ask me about the pumpkins that are over here on the shelf in this gray hutch. One of them is on the top here underneath the cake glass cake dome. The other is on the glass pedestal. Um, whenever I do my room home tour for fall, it's not going to be anything grand, but I am going to share it. Um, I was going to share that with you guys. I shared the pumpkins when I got them. They came from Country Door. And I thought even though I have all of these colors that are all the true autumnal colors, the oranges and the rusts and, you know, the deep, deep burgundies, in that cabinet, because it's all white and it's gray, I thought I would incorporate those aqua pumpkins in there. And in this room with the um, display I have here, which I shared on how to put that together, it sits here on our island. And then of course, with my new little, um, you know, Dollar Tree candle holders here, all of this fits in beautifully with that even though they're totally opposite ends of the spectrum, that soft aqua looks beautiful with the orange. So um, as again, you guys, nothing gets past you. So for those of you who have asked, those are the pumpkins that I shared in the video that will be in my playlist if you wanna get a little more information on them uh, from Country Door. So. I just wanted to share with you guys what my favorites were and also to give a huge thank you to all of you. So if you get an opportunity, check out those videos and then leave me a comment and let me know out of what I shared with you or if there's something that was in one of my videos that I didn't share with you, let me know what your favorite piece or pieces are that I've used so far in decorating for fall. So thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't done so, I would love to have you here as part of the At Home With Zane family. So subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you're notified of any new upcoming videos and check out my video description for links to all my social media sites, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my Facebook. It's all on there. It's a one-stop shop. I share a lot of information over there if it's not in the form of a video. So I can see so many of you that have started following me or now following me over on social media and I love that. So thank you all again so much for watching and we'll look for you the next time.